I remember World War II very, very well because especially because it, it hit our family, our, our relatives. And uh, I was married in 1940. And I remember exactly where I was when we heard on the radio, that was before TV, we heard on the radio that World War I had started, and that was a shocker. I, I, I just couldn't believe that we were gonna be fighting again. We were in our little apartment, little three-room apartment, and the news came over, and my husband and I just stood there speechless, just, just couldn't believe that we would be facing another war. And that, that hit pretty hard because my husband was a pastor. He had several churches that he was responsible for because the districts were, they were all country churches, small churches, but there were a lot of young people in, um, in these churches. And of course, they had to go and do their duty. And whenever one was going from a, a single church, the whole church would go. They weren't flying by airplane yet. They had to get on the train. And that was a, a very sad situation every time because here are the mothers and here are the sweethearts and here are the young wives that are being left behind. The soldier gets on the train, the window is open and everybody's holding his hand until the train pulls away. And that happened over and over and over again. But those young men, they had the support of the whole church, knowing that everybody was there rooting for them. One sad experience, my husband's cousin had just graduated from Loma Linda Medical School, and uh, my husband did not have any brothers, but this cousin and he grew up together uh, on farms in South Dakota. And uh, his, my husband's uncle, Emil, was a minister and this uncle Emil was this cousin's father, this cousin's name was Aaron. And uh, from the time my husband was still a little boy. He wanted to be a preacher like his uncle Emil. And so he, that was kind of like a role model there, you know, for them growing up. And so this is what he, he had never had any other idea that he wanted to do this or that or another thing. He was gonna be like uncle Emil. Because Uncle Emil was pretty important to that whole family. They visited, and and Aunt Helen had very nice stories that she told the children, and you know it 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 was very nice. Well, anyway, their son Aaron just finished med medical school, and of course he was in the army, drafted, and sent to the South Pacific. And it wasn't too long, and we heard that he had flown in an airplane to go pick up a whole group of wounded soldiers. And while the plane was stopped there, and they were bringing them in ambulances and on stretchers and all that, you know, to. to to take him somewhere where they could give him help. 
a bomb exploded and killed him right there. And that, that was the saddest part of World War II, to lose someone in the family that was trying to help.